What are your thoughts on our relationship? I'm having some pretty naughty thoughts about you right now. So I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. How do you- Pushers anything! Do you know what that junk has done to my whoa, boy? Whoa, whoa! Easy there, Scaver. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Scumbag. You made him an addict. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Look, he wanted a product, I sold him a product. And I expect to get paid for my product. Now you gonna help us out or what? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet, sold him a ton of junk on credit, and now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that Jet-selling scumbag. And why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it, but caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. You crossed the wrong way. Hmm? I'll kill all you <laughs> To just run. Hey there. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Any landing you can walk away from? Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Hey, Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, 
We need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have naught but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. What war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the Bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare that power out. The cannons are the main order. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Go shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kinda with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So. You got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains screw that robot and come work with us there's dozens more of us nearby it's only a matter of time before we come out on top i'm not splitting my share with him you holding out on us davies you got some magical way in there this guy's got a free ticket aboard so shut up help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all 
What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe in some freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? I need to think about this. These are human beings. Why would you even think about helping an insane robot instead? Don't take too long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. And then you'll get nothing. Pretty slick. Oh, I saw something. Mr. Navigator. Hi, soldier. Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. Tell me more. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So, now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence. Vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Any landing you can walk away from? Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens, and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. You're gonna blow the whole damn ship up. Oh, ye of little faith. There is a scant 14% chance of that. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare to broadside! Defend the Constitution and destroy their colors. Leave the ship and never return. Oh, yeah.